Hello everyone, what I'm going to show you today is how to use the Autocrat add-on to take anything you fill out in a Google form and create a Google document or paper copy of that information. Um, so right now I just have a simple Google form I've created where you put your name, pick a date, put your question or comment, put your you know contact email in here and hit submit. Very typical. Um, and with this form, any form in Google uh, in a Google form automatically goes into a spreadsheet, uh, which is great to collect information. However, a lot of times with forms, you want to actually see this tactile form. So this is where the Autocrat add-on comes in. Add-ons are great features. They used to be called scripts. Now they're called add-ons. And in a Google spreadsheet or a sheet, you should see add-ons here. I have a whole bunch. Anytime you install one, it automatically will be there. But you could always go to Get Add-ons and find uh, any of the add-ons you'd like to use. We're using Autocrat today. Okay, so I have Autocrat here, so I'm going to launch it. Give it a second to launch. And what happens is you want to create a new merge job. Uh, to do so, you just press this red button that says New Merge Job. It'll load for a few seconds. And then it's going to go to the screen where you either are going to choose a template that you've created. I have a bunch here. Or you'll uh, go to your Google Drive and create one. Um, my recommendation before you get to this point is actually make a template Google Doc to tell uh, anything that you fill out where to go. So it's as simple as just putting all your fillable areas on the sheet in, or on the doc. You can make it and look however you want. This is just very basic. But the key thing you need to do is make sure that the areas that you filling you're filling out in the Google form are tagged. So by tagging it, you just put the word or a phrase and make sure you put uh, double carrots on both sides. That's how you tag it. So when I fill out these sections here, it will go to here automatically. It's actually pretty awesome. All right, so um, what I'm going to do is actually instead of um, create one, I'm just going to go to my Google Drive and find my template one that I've created. So I'm just going to search for it. And there it is. So I'm going to select that and it'll load for a second. And then you'll name, name your merge job. That just lets you know that you can use this any time later. So let's call it uh, testing out autocrat. Sweet. So now I have that saved. Now here, based off the form responses, you see these titles here. That's what my Google form is going to. I just need to make sure they correlate with each other. So question doesn't go to timestamp. I want to go to the question section. Email, I want to go to contact email. So each one of these areas will go to each one of these areas. Now I'll hit save. And this is actually a really neat name convention. You could actually use any of the tags that are part of this to automatically give it a file name. Or you could put whatever you want in here and it always will create that. Uh, but for here, I'm just going to put this naming tag, which means that um, that will the name of the person that's contacting you will always show their name as a file name, which is kind of nice. So I'm just going to leave it that way. Um, here is you could choose if it's going to be a Google Doc or a PDF. I'm going to stay with Google Doc. Um, a neat way, I'm not going to use it for this example, but if you go to email or share this, what's nice is that you could actually put in... Um, a person's email address in here and anytime somebody submits it it will automatically email us to that person which is pretty nice um, sometimes you have a, a Google form that has uh, you you can have somebody's email address in there and it could automatically email that person by just using the tag as well but I am going to just and then you also have these options that automate that you could choose when it emails the person but I'm just going to turn that off for right now Another great thing that you want to do, actually is very important, is if you go to Advanced Settings, to check the box that says Run Autocrat when new forms are submitted. So anytime somebody submits a form, it's automatically going to run itself instead of having to run the job. But once I press Save, it's going to put these little titles on top, letting you know that Autocrat is there. And right now, if I was to fill it out, Autocrat will automatically generate the, for the file for me. But since I already have it here, I'm just going to click on it and run my merge. And if you give it a few seconds, it's going to do a mail merge and automatically take anything that I fill out here that goes to my 
sheets and make a mail merge of that file. I could use this spreadsheet and actually click on the link to view the file. It's a Google Doc, so they automatically filled out. I just put my name, the date of what had happened. This was just a random question or comment, and then a contact email. Uh, you could always view it from the spreadsheet, but wherever you set this up in your Google Drive will automatically create a folder that you should have. Oh, pardon me. Should automatically create a folder. This is my testing out AutoCraft merge docs, and they are automatically going to go in here. Now, what's kind of neat is if you look at this, it says Eric. I chose to say that any time that you fill out this information and anybody that puts their name here, it's going to automatically create a doc with that person's name there, which is kind of nice because you can kind of choose how your files are going to be made. So anyway, that was just a, uh, about a roughly a six-minute demo on how to use Autocrat. There's a lot more features with it, but this should get you started.